Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, you know who it is, and thank you for listening to this new episode of the Needle Drop Podcast. Before we get into the show, we want to remind you that this is a listener-supported podcast, which means it exists because of those who support it, and they do so in a few different ways. One, they get weekly downloads of this show via a monthly subscription on our support page. We will link you to it in the description box. Looks like this, button right there. Also, you can hit up our Amazon Associates link, where basically we get a kickback for all purchases you make on Amazon.com when you use this link. Only works in the U.S., though, unfortunately, but you can use it to basically make purchases you were already planning on making on Amazon, and that helps out this podcast as well. Also, you can stream it on YouTube and share it with a friend. All support is appreciated. All right. Thank you for listening again, and on with the show. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, you know who it is, and this is a brand new episode of the Needle Drop Podcast, and another interview episode, and in this episode we have a very special guest, he is a fan of the show, as I am a fan of his, if, if you consider <laughs> what we do on YouTube to be a show. Uh, he is, I guess, a, a student, a, an in, a man of international travel, he is a comedian, and a vlogger and an absolute madman. Uh, his name is George Miller, a.k.a. Uh, the, the main brain behind the Filthy Frank web show on YouTube. How you doing, dude? Good, man. How are you doing? It's good to finally be on uh, the, the podcast. I've been excited. Yeah, we've, uh, uh, we, we've been fans of one another for a long time, and um, we've, we've taken our... Uh, our, our or I guess uh, uh, our, our mutual fandom of one another to a lot of places, but this is the first time we've taken it this far. Yeah, for real. It's very, you know, it's very infinite. I mean, not in, infinite, in, intimate. It is very intimate, and we're exposing everybody else to it. We've had long com phone conversations, lots of exchanges of photos we over have. our phones, lots of selfies. Lots of selfies, and, uh, yep. and, and now we're sort of taking it here. Yeah, it's the next level in our, in our relationship. I like it. So for everybody who might be completely unfamiliar with, with what you do, mm -hmm. can, can you give me a quick rundown of, of what it is exactly you do on your YouTube channel? <laughs> and yeah, that's, let's just leave it at that. What is it that you do on the Filthy Frank TV YouTube channel? Filthy Frank TV. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a web show. And it's more, it's more not the standard YouTube channel type stuff, but I guess it's a little more alt, if, mm -hmm. if you want to call it that, you know, a bit okay. alternative humor, I guess, as people like to call it. And, you know, it gets a little messy, gets a little sexual, a little bloody sometimes. But, you know, what's, where's the fun if, if that's not there, you know? Yeah, recently uh, the, the addition of animal carcasses into quite a few episodes. <laughs> yeah, I had a bit of a dead animal phase. It yes, happens. you you did have a bit of a dead animal yeah. phase, and then you had uh, in in another recent video um, the consumption of vomit, which yep. was pretty pretty fantastic. I mean, I I thought um, you know back when the internet was a little more wild, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, sort of sort of back in the days of like the early to mid 2000s and and if you were in high school you know you might have like heard people talk about websites like rotten.com yeah. or ebums world e world and yeah, that, and and like also that. like th th there was probably like tons of like supremely offensive stuff on newgrounds.com yeah. as and well and like funny junk back in the day was pretty pretty intense sure. yeah. yeah absolutely i discovered so porn on newgrounds Nice. Yeah. Nice. Like those dress up games. I don't know mm -hmm. if you know what I'm talking about. Which which but... were basically porn. Oh yeah. Like Or the could... or the dating sims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were those were the best. I love those. So so yeah, I mean back when the internet was a little more wild and, and, and I and I saw some of the craziest shit I've ever seen on the internet in those days. <laughs> and and I and I didn't really think anybody would ever surpass that. But then the video that you did uh, where where you were actually collaborating with one of my favorite YouTubers, How to Basic. Uh, yeah, I love that dude's YouTube channel. Yeah, it's 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 one of my favorites, definitely. He's a good and, guy. And you would come up with a video where you basically baked a cake made of contents that were consumed and then thrown up. 
Yeah, basically, yeah. And um, I mean, that's that's the kind of insanity people can expect on your channel, and and it's not even presented in this. Um, I, I I think the the thing that sort of separates you from a lot of other people who might do equally vile or disgusting things is that you, you're you're not doing them on camera, being like, "Hey guys, it's Joey." from the Prank Vision channel, <laughs> and we're going to be doing a sweet-ass prank today. We're going to be doing a throw-up pound cake, and then we're going to make my bro Mikey here eat it. You know, <laughs> uh, Instead of doing that, you're kind of <laughs> playing this really foul-mouthed, loud, annoying, offensive character on camera yeah. who, for, for, for whatever reason, finds himself in, in, in these situations. I mean, I, I wouldn't even say some of the videos that you do are even canon in some kind of like larger story or something um <laughs> sort of like the what, what did you do you did like a really weird snail race video yeah uh, uh crawfish racing yes crawfish racing yeah. racing and um and and that to me i mean you, you were playing somebody else in that video you weren't sort of it was it was an extension of my character you know how like i don't yeah it's it was still Filthy Frank, but like Kamikaze Failure Frank, which is like maybe, I guess, from an alternate dimension where he was a Kamikaze pilot that could not blow himself up. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> no, it, it, it's actually, it totally makes sense. It's, it's very logical. I'm glad. Um, <laughs> but I mean, you, you've been doing this for a long time before you've kind of reached this peak of insanity where you're doing uh, such crazy shit on your YouTube channel. I mean, back when you were on another YouTube channel, which you, you pronounce, what is it? Disastrous like music? <laughs> Dis disaster music. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, what, what you were doing, uh, uh. I mean, if if you go farthest back to the early, early days of the channel, you can see some really, like, rough sketches, but it seemed like you kind of hit a stride with these really weird vlogs that you were doing as as this character, Filthy Frank. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, when, when did the idea sort of enter into your head to sort of um, just kind of start playing a character on camera as opposed to everybody else on YouTube who, you know, decides mm. that I'm going to be myself and be a vlogger? Uh, it seemed like you were going to be the anti-vlogger, sort of in a sense, and yeah. be kind of, you know, not this person that anybody watches because th they like. You just wanted to be so incredibly hateable and unlikable, almost yeah. like as unlikable as possible. Exactly. Uh, it's it's like um, I don't know. I I think. I, I sort of think of that Miranda Sings girl, but I think there's like something kind of hokey about her sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Whereas it seemed like right from the start, you were seeking to kind of be like, I don't know, as offensive as possible. And yeah. trying to trying to like call out any group of people that you could just to like pick on them or say something ridiculous. Yeah. Um, some of the videos that kind of come to mind are when you're like kind of telling off old people or when you're talking about, I don't know, a time that you you described a story where you walked up to a bunch of black people and started rapping oh my gosh. and they didn't and they didn't want to hear your raps yeah i can't believe those videos are still up i just yeah those are old man <laughs> I, I i don't know dude i mean i've i've talked to you so many times and honestly like when when i watch your videos i don't see it like i i don't see you as the same guy I guess I guess in kind of the same way, like some people watch my videos and they and they think that me and Cal are a different person, or they talk <laughs> about how it's difficult to sort of understand Wait, that you me and Cal, Cal aren't different people. We, it, it's it's just weird for them to accept it because we look so much alike. Okay, yeah, of course. you know, the, the the they're like I I don't know. It's kind of hard to think of Anthony and Cal as different people because they look so much alike. But yet, you know, I know that that's not true because they have totally different personalities. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, it, it's it seems like uh, I I think I think the first thing I want to get behind and kind of have you talk talk about is uh, and 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 this is true of a lot of people who watch my channel and and I know that because sometimes you know you do come up in the comments or uh, 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 maybe in passing I might mention uh, the fact that I do enjoy your channel or something that you did right. and immediately I will kind of get comments that are like filthy frank he's fucking disgusting he sucks <laughs> he's offensive what an asshole how could you enjoy anything he does and um it's it's almost as if the people who don't enjoy what you do for whatever reason see 
some truth or at least uh, an, an honest feeling in what you do. Whereas I don't feel like that's the case at all. I mean, when, when I've talked to you, uh, it doesn't seem that <laughs> you hold any of the beliefs that you sort of <laughs> espouse as Filthy Frank yeah, on, on I camera. Yeah, I And, and, and uh, Yeah, absolutely. And, and sometimes when I see people talk about you, especially in a negative light, it seems almost as if it's difficult for them to kind of separate between the idea that you're playing a character yeah. and... Uh, uh, and, and, and that you're not actually like trying to give a, a, a real feeling. I mean, what, what is it about that? You know, that, that makes it difficult for people to kind of, you know, understand that you're playing, a, a, a persona as opposed to, you know, trying to like actually be bigoted or actually be, uh, I mean, it's, it seems that people can kind of openly accept someone like Stephen Colbert as mm-hmm. being like a fake conservative, yeah. you know? And whereas you, you're kind of like, I, I don't know, with Filthy Frank, you're kind of a, the, 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 the effigy of, I don't know, your, your, your basic random 4chan board troll yeah. who is like the most ugly, vile person you could ever want to deal with online. Yeah, that's the, that was the idea of the character. I mean, like, he's so over the top with his, like, just his, his shit that, like, it's like impossible to take it seriously, you know? And like, that's the point. I'm kind of making fun of all like, what, like racism and all that by being overly racist with this character or whatever, you know what I mean? And, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, and, but the fun part is when people don't like get it and they're like, who is this guy? This guy's a fucking, like, I want to I beat the shit out of him. And like, you know, that, that you know, gives me a little, little bit of a, little bit of a chuckle because mm-hmm. it's like, they can't, they're kind of too dense to figure out that like, or even consider that this may be a character, you know? Well, kind, kind of, kind of a couple weird things that, that have happened in you playing that character there that while the character kind of seems like, you know, uh, you poking fun at ignorant and racist trolls on the internet. There are moments in your videos where, uh, it, almost advertently, you know, you make your audience laugh at a joke that is racist or mm-hmm. you, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's one thing. And, and almost kind of inadvertently sometimes too. Well, actually a lot, a lot of the time, uh, maybe one percent of the time you can tell me, but it kind of seems like the people who are end up enjoying the videos, they're not so much people who are watching. And, and I mean, maybe I throw myself in, in, in this bunch, but uh, it, it seems like few and far between are the people who are watching who are like, oh, he's just playing a character of an internet troll. Ha ha ha. You know, really good job. Whereas it seems like your audience has amassed tons of internet trolls who kind of see you as this internet troll messiah. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that, 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 that's, that's fine, too. I mean, it, the show could go both ways. You know, whatever floats their boat. I'm happy to cater to what people want. So... I don't see. Um, a, I don't see a. Uh, pro- I mean, there is a problem, obviously, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is is there a problem? Uh, it, it it depends. It depends. I mean, it 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 racks in the the views, I guess. So mm-hmm. can't complain. Uh, so uh, yeah, I mean, it, it it most definitely does. I mean, are you uh, it, wh- while it, it doesn't seem like you yourself personally, you know, sort of uh. uh believe some of the things that filthy frank says it seems like you know you're you're definitely down to kind of say something controversial for the sake of you know just kind of being polarizing or turning heads or kind of a you know or or offending people which i mean at the end of the day i think is kind of at the heart of the troll personality i don't think most trolls really believe or think anything that they're actually saying mm-hmm. they're just kind of doing it to get a rise out of people whereas yeah, probably much probably for the, the, the rest of the time, they're completely normal people that are just functioning in society like everybody else. Exactly. I mean, no one's, no one's going to say what they see on the internet in like real life, you know, unless they were actually like terrible people, but it's like unlikely. It, the people who are often in those positions, you won't find them on 4chan as much as you would probably on like Stormfront. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, like people who are pe- people on the internet who are legitimately racist tend to congregate 
onto forums and websites that sort of espouse a racist view just kind of in principle, Mm -hmm. you know, like just kind of throwing bullshit, angry, or, you know, I guess, um, uh, offensive comments into the ether on a YouTube comment section or like (laughs) into Yahoo news or like into, uh, uh, just any kind of, uh, uh, Tumblr page or Twitter feed just to like get some eyes gravitating toward it. I don't know. It it just kind of seems like it, it, it just kind of, I, I can't take it as seriously as I would if I saw that person kind of gathering t- together with a group, I guess. Um, in, in isolation, it just kind of seems like another bit of text somewhere on the internet. Yeah. And it just happens to be a bit of text. I don't really like agree with, but but still, even though we can come to the agreement that, I mean, most internet trolls are probably average people who are just looking for a bit of a thrill or yeah. a bit of a laugh. Yeah, they're probably um, really nice guys, to be honest. Oh, probably. But yeah. I mean, you know, still, uh, you you are slightly afraid of your audience. Like, are you not? I mean, at, at least hesitant to engage with them in any kind of personal way. Yeah, I mean... I'd, I'd like to keep up a, a, like, professional relationship with them, like... Uh, <laughs> that's that's an interesting... That's a really yeah, interesting way coming, to put it. Coming from me, I guess professional isn't really the word, but, you know, like, I, I'll, you know, I'll, I do the show for them, I, I want them to enjoy it, uh, but, you know, like, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to chill, you, you know, trying to just relax. So I've, I've had like, I don't know, like I've had, um, when you, when you say at the end of the day, do you mean like during your off time? I don't know. I mean, just in, in general, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. But what, what do you mean? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid of, uh, I'm not afraid. I'm just cautious, you know, because like, obviously like, you know, you got people like Tyler Oakley and those kind of guys on YouTube and their fan base is very like, you know, just happy and, and like one community, you know, very like, you know, I mean, basically they're not smart enough to kind of pry at you. If, 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 if you know, if you know what I mean, like the type of people who would watch like our video, like obviously your, your videos too are probably have more experience with, you know, computers and like weird things like that. You know, I've had, I've had people email me like like oh like b- based on like landmarks that they've seen in videos like yo i know where you live man like you better like like i'm just i'm just letting you know man that like it's it's easy to find you all right like and I, i'm like oh dude just like leave me alone please like it, <laughs> it's fucking scary man like i'm not trying to be followed or anything yeah i mean it's it's uh I, I think uh, that's 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 something that crosses my mind occasionally too. I mean, not that um, I mean I've, I'm sure you have even more than me with how controversial some of your videos are. But you know, I've most definitely been threatened online, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, I actually went to a concert last night, which I enjoyed a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and and not that I've ever had like a uh, uh, a bad experience at a concert because if it's some artist that I've reviewed, chances are there's going to be a bunch of people there who, you know, uh, who, who have watched my show. And, and this was, you know, definitely the case, uh, last night. And one of the people there had said, Hey man, why didn't you announce to everyone that you were coming to this concert? And then we all could have, you know, uh, come to the concert too. And we could have seen it together. And I'm oh, like, that would have ruined it for you. I it, it, kind of, <laughs> you know, the thing is like, it, it's, it's like, I'm just trying to see the concert, you know, yeah, like yeah. I, I'm not trying to turn every concert I go to into like a needle drop hangout. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, I do want to hang out with you guys, but when I do, I want it to be its own singular event. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. not only is is that not something I'm I'm particularly in the mood to do when I go to a concert, but also simultaneously, I feel like that's kind of rude to the artist too. You know, because it's supposed to be their show, yeah. it's supposed to be their event, and it's not supposed to be about me. You know, so I'm not trying to like do a concert where everybody's coming to see me and shake hands with me and take pictures with me and talk with me. You know, I want the focus to be on the person whose performance it is, you know, not yeah. on who showed up to the show. Um, that's but yeah, like, you know, yeah. that's actually yeah. how I felt when I, uh, when I went to see you. Oh my God. Right. And 
like I, I, I like the, obviously like I was just there to enjoy you, but like you know I was I was careful to like not like I was just hiding a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't want to like raise my hand and like when when we were doing like the discussion, I didn't want to raise my hand and say anything. I was just very you know quiet and and, and uh, just trying to be polite, I guess. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, no, I, I totally I totally get what, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. And 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 thank you for coming to enjoy me. I really appreciate that. Oh no, it was it was a fantastic show. <laughs> um but but I I I do sort of understand that you might be a little bit more hesitant than I might be sometimes because in 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 pretty much every experience that I've had where I've met up with people who watch the show, everybody's been nice, everybody's been great, everybody's been, you know, really personable and really chill. Um uh, you know, and even the excited people are are really cool. Yeah. Uh but um uh, you know, th- there's definitely something like a note of insanity that makes your fan base different. I mean, and, and I think it's kind of displayed in, you know, like when you do something like the chin chin sacrifices yeah. and, and at that point, I mean, most definitely the, your fans are kind of mirroring the same kind of insanity on camera that they see with you. And they kind of see that same brazen attitude to just be like, look, like, it, it even though you are putting yourself on camera you're playing a character and while you're playing that character anything you do and say doesn't really matter ultimately even if other people might misinterpret that because again it's a character and it's not real life and it seems like everybody else who participates especially in these sacrifices um <laughs> it seems like they embody that too yeah. you know they they they're pretty fearless they with, are they with are. what they're doing on camera yeah, I, 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 there were some videos that I could not put on the the thing because I was just like, I can't believe these guys actually did whatever. You know, I think uh, two two years ago when I did a change and sacrifice, I heard that um, two different stories. I heard uh, someone burnt down a forest in Belgium or something. What in Belgium? I don't know. Like, like I just heard through a bunch of people like that. Like, yo, like. It's gonna be mad dangerous, man. You should stop it. And it's like, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I should. I don't, I don't want to be. I, I don't want to, uh, you know, influence, be, be that kind of influence, you know. Yeah, because they, uh, they are very. Uh, I, I do have like a very dedicated uh, group of people who watch, which I'm very grateful for. Uh, they're no, they're. I mean, like when I say I don't want to interact with them, I don't, I don't mean it in like a, like a, yo, fuck these kids, you know. It's, it's more of a. I just, you know, I just like to, I enjoy the, the work that I do and I just want them to enjoy the, the work that I put out, you know, like it's, and it's, it's, it's not like I don't want to see them. I just like, I like to keep it as like a character thing, you know, and just kind of keep whatever, like me, like just out of it. Yeah, no, I, and, and I totally understand that because the thing is, I mean, there, there's definitely a not only is there a big difference between, you know, your audience and my audience, but there's a big difference between what you're doing on camera and what I'm doing on camera in terms of how we deliver ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a lot of the time I'm delivering me, you know, whereas you're playing a character and, and to sort of allow people to come into that personal world of yours sort of breaks that fourth wall in a way that, uh, it looks like you don't want to do it all, you know? And, and I think that that's something that comes more from the old days of television and radio you know that's not so much something that i think content creators value anymore mm-hmm. um that sort of separation because that separation can be really important uh some of my favorite musical artists and some of the most famous musical artists out there maintain like a wall of anonymity you know or just like kind of a uh a, this sort of shadowy quality this mysterious quality you know that yeah. uh, uh the fans don't really know anything that personal exactly. about this artist day to day and that sort of makes this person all the more intriguing exactly um yeah I appreciate you coming on and doing this show uh, and, and not that I anticipate that it'll, you know, sort of ruin anything that you have going, but kind of making a, a, a regular thing of reminding people who watch your show like, hey, listen, guys, uh, this is all in good fun and I'm just a regular dude and yada, yada, yada would, would kind of, you know, uh, be counterintuitive to the to the character that you're trying to build up with every Definitely, video. Yeah, I, I like I like the fourth wall. It, it, it's it's nice, you know, um, I like yeah, so I like I like to keep that going, like for for the new fans as well, you know. Yeah is is there um, 
I mean, obviously, you know, you've been successful maintaining that fourth wall, but do you think over time, you know, as, as we kind of continue in the direction that we are with media and, you know, media personalities online like you and me and Tyler Oakley and so on and so forth, that the fourth wall is just going to be impossible to keep up, that it's just going to be have to, it's just going to have to be something that all of us give up. I would, I would hope not, but yeah, I, I, I can see that happening. I think you, um, the, the difference between YouTube and TV is like YouTube, you can, you can, you can comment and like YouTubers are more obliged to interact with their fans. You know, they do giveaways, they do like all kinds of stuff like that. And like that sort of like kids and people will, will forget that like, th- like they, they forget that it's like, oh, this guy is, is, is uh, an entertainer. You know, they they forget that uh, that's what they do. They just kind of think like, oh, like he's a guy that like uploads videos. He's just the normal dude. He's my friend. Kind of. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I'm really jet lagged. <laughs> no, it's fine. But yeah. I, but I I think you're getting at something really important. There's something really personal about you know what what YouTubers are doing just because. Uh, it's not high quality. Even if you are playing a character, you do feel like you're kind of getting some insight into this person's world and you can kind of figure out this person faster. Or if you see a video, you sort of understand what's going on in that person's head because there's not like this facade of cameras and lights and studios sort of like separating you between uh, you and the person that you're watching, which I, I think, uh, now that I think about it is maybe why it's so easy for people to see your videos and assume that you're actually the guy that they're watching on camera. Yeah, no, exactly. So you can't, you can't really like blame anyone for that. And also another thing that's important is like what brings, what, 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 what people feel like they're closer to YouTubers because, you know, there's that idea that like, you know, like we're the reason, like it's, it's, you know, like, I'm only here because of the viewers, you know. Whereas, like mm. for TV, it's the same thing, but it's 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 a little, it's a little more like not personal, you know. Like the ratings, they do have ratings and stuff, but like YouTube is like just directly like affected by like views, you know, like from the straight from the computer of yeah. the of the the the, the person. And those are, unlike television, those are metrics that you're seeing ASAP, you know, like Mm -hmm. you, you know exactly how many views a video got tomorrow, you know, as opposed to, uh, having to wait for for an entire season of a show to kind of get some accurate uh, measurements going. And you got the like, dislike button, like you just, you, you automatically know, like I, when I go on a, like a video of, uh, of someone else in my subscription box, like the first thing I always look at is is the like to dislike ratio, and like that oftentimes it it dictates whether I'm going to watch the video or not. I watch all your videos, obviously. I love you. Oh, obviously. Yeah, obviously. You know, and plus, I mean, your your like to dislike ratio is is, is amazing. It's it's pretty consistent, but I mean, I, I actually love a good review every once in a while where everybody freaking hates it. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, where, where's the fun? You know, if 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 that's not happening. Exactly. I mean, you've, you've actually inspired me recently um, to maybe w- whichever video sort of has the most polarizing reception in, in a month's time. Uh, I might do a segment where I just take some of the most hateful, ridiculous comments out of there and just kind of like read them. And just that's, kind of... that's, that's the best way to handle hate comments, to be honest. It, it makes a great video, too. It does. It, it's, yeah. it's really entertaining. And the thing is, you know, while... The person might have been semi-serious while typing that shit. The moment you take it out of that context and you actually read what has been typed, it becomes instantly hilarious. Exactly. Just like it like (laughs) disarms it instantly Yeah. because it just looks so dumb that you would write something so hateful through the Internet, which like. I don't even know why people do it anymore because it's just become so hilarious. The idea of the Internet tough guy like. Like yeah. any anything mean or anything like that you say on the internet holds any weight. Yeah, it's it's, it's ridiculous. And also, I was I was talking about this with a with a friend the other day, and we were just we were talking about like who even like has the need to comment on videos anymore in general. Mm-hmm. It's like obviously like I comment on like videos like of people like on YouTube that I like I'm I'm friends with or I know you know just to 
just to you know, mess around with them a little bit. Mm-hmm. But like, I I don't think I've ever like commented on a video to just just to say my opinion of the video. Hmm. So like, it, it the idea of like being like I like this video, you know, or like unless you're like directly like supporting someone, I I've never like really actually commented like on anyone's video like seriously. I, I think that's just because you have a different. And and this is something I mean I have commented on other people's videos seriously, um, mm-hmm. but I I think it sort of depends on the mindset that you're in. You are in the truest sense a creator, you know, and you're and you're focused and you're worried more about you know what you're making and how people are going to receive it. You're you're not thinking about getting into the conversation around what you've made or what other people have made. You know, you're thinking about what you're making and you're focused on that. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of yeah. I have my foot in in both worlds a little bit. I'm making videos, but I'm commenting on things in all my videos. Yeah, well, I'm, you're, you know? you're 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 a, you're a critique. So yeah, you're, and I mean, you know, and, so, and sometimes I'm not afraid to do that in a YouTube comment too. If like you know, if if it's a song or if it's somebody else's YouTube channel, and maybe I disagree with them, you know, and it's like a fellow reviewer or something like that. Yeah. Um, although these days I've kind of hesitated from doing so, not because I don't have an opinion or that I don't want to share it, but mostly because. I can't really give an opinion just as like, you know, the regular fan dude that I know that I am personally anymore because it becomes like the needle drop versus this guy, you know, it it becomes, it becomes one YouTube verse personality versus another, um, you know, so, so whatever opinion I might have is sort of taken out of the context of here's just an opinion. And it's placed into, oh, the needle drop hates this guy. Oh, 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 they're beefing, you know, and yeah, it's like exactly. it, it, that that may not necessarily be the case. So, you know, when, when you have a YouTube account with a lot of, um, you know, subscribers on it, kind of putting a negative opinion out there, just typing negative things everywhere on the Internet, it's, it's not really a good look. And yeah, it's just exactly. going to it's just going to earn you more drama than than you really need. And you already get enough of that. I, I understand. I do. I do indeed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> in, in what you're doing, the, and, and not that I mind it because, I mean, I, I, I do enjoy offensive humor as long as it's sort of in, uh, to put it in, mm. in a really uh, like simpy way, in good fun. In good um, fun, yeah. You know, I like off-color jokes. I like offensive humor. Uh, my wife does as well. Um, so, you know, we're, we're a match made in heavens and she loves, she loves, she loves the shit out of your videos too. Oh, um, nice. I, I feel bad for all the people out there who, you know, maybe their girlfriends are like, Ugh, you're watching him again. Ugh, Ugh. And, you know, <laughs> instead, like she gets mad at me if I watch a video of yours and it's new and I, and she didn't watch it with me. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, that's very sweet. Uh, it, it, it seems like the, the, offensive humor is so pivotal to what you do <clears throat> and it, it seems like uh, is that something that uh that that you feel comes easy or that you're drawn toward i mean i sort of imagine uh, uh that in one sense it might be easy because it seems like people are more sensitive than ever on the internet mm-hmm. but simultaneously if you're going to keep offending people you know, it seems like that is a bar that's forever going to be moving and you're always going to have to be chasing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, if like the like, let's say like the videos on disaster music, uh, like the old, old Filthy Frank videos, like those were like just straight up like, you know, offensive. Like there'd be like just racism, like misogyny, uh, you know, just like fat shaming and stuff. And, you know, I, I, I legitimately do like feel bad about that kind of stuff like because you know i was i was like still very young when i was doing those videos i was i was a kid and well i'm still a kid but uh, like now like i i'm i'm trying to stay away from just direct you know like hate speech like abusive comedy and i've like just tried to do like dif- like still be offensive but like in different ways you know like if you if you watch like my more recent videos uh there's not much like racism or misogyny. It's more, you know, uh, vomit and dead animals. And it, it seemed it seemed like there was definitely an emphasis on like trying to gross people out. Yeah, that was yeah, it was, it was a bit of a phase. You know, I gotta I gotta go through all the 
all the aspects of uh, an offensive humor, I guess. Sure, yeah. absolutely. I, you know, I'm I, as as a vegan here. I was very offended. I was very offended. I was like, "Fuck you, dude! I hate, <laughs> I hate you so much, and I hate that you're doing this." But then the thing is, like, <laughs> but then simultaneously, I'm just thinking, well. At this point, if you take into his disaster music YouTube channel as well, he's he's probably pissed off just about every other group of people that there is, whether it be you know gender based or racial or ideological yeah. or you know as as even something as innocent as uh, <laughs> uh, enjoying anime and you know deciding <laughs> deciding whether or not you like a PC versus a Mac. Yeah, e- even things as inoffensive of that as that are really hot button topics. Yeah. And you sort of jump into these issues and you're just pretty much like, hey, hold on, everybody. Like, you know, and then you just get everyone to stop fighting for a second and then you just pause and then you just let out a big fat fart. Yeah. And then that's that's pretty much like, you know, your response to like anybody's quarrel over anything yeah. like completely insignificant. Like, you know, like the 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 quote of the show is, you know, like, uh, racial, uh, equal, equal, equally prejudiced, you know, ever, everyone gets shit, you know, you can't get away at all. If you're watching the show, like you're going to get offended one way or another, like, sure. And, you know, like, you know, like when people, when, I don't know, when that whole Gamergate thing happened, you know, do you remember, do you remember that? I don't know. Like, yeah, that was like, that, that was like a year ago that started. Yeah. Just, just stuff with like, you know, all this, like, you know, I, I noticed now it's, it's, it's a popular amongst, uh, you know, trolls to, you know, really get at feminism, you know? Hmm. And, uh, you know, like Tr- trolls are into anybody who's easily offended. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, people are always like, Hey, like do, do a video on this, you know, that'd be great. You know? And, um, Hold on, I don't know where I'm what, what I'm getting at. I'm super jet lagged. I'm sorry. Are Are you saying that you were sort of like hesitant to sort of jump into the whole GamerGate debacle? Or? Oh no, I just I I didn't know anything about it. And like, oh no, no, here's where I'm getting at. Yeah, the these these guys, the, a lot of the fans expect me to like you know take their side, you know, and be like like yeah, you know, like whatever, like go against whatever they don't like. But yeah, then, they don't they don't like feminism, yeah. so they want you to come on and just be yeah. like. Fuck this feminism shit. But what they what they don't get about about the show is I'm gonna you know I'm offend I'm supposedly I, I I'm gonna offend everybody. So sure. so you know like I usually it's it's more fun for me to get at the 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 same people that are telling me hey, you're gonna do this you know that's why with the Mac versus PC thing I just the conclusion was you know both suck and you're all losers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and, and I, I, I remember, like, um, it's funny because, you know, like, these kids are always telling me, like, oh, do a video on this, you know, make make fun of, like, a, a certain race or whatever, you know, and, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. But one time, you know, like, obviously, I'm going to I'm going to get at white people, you know, yeah. like, if I'm going to if I'm going to, like, be racist, I'm going to be all around racist. I have a lot to say about white people, you know, I have half, I'm half white, half Asian. I have a lot to say about both cultures, you know. I've, I've said mm. shit about Asians. I've said shit about you know everybody, but then I remember as soon as I made a, a white joke, like something about like rednecks fucking their sisters or something. Yes, something I, rem- like, I remember that. Something joke. like that. Everyone lost their shit, and they they like started making these like really passive aggressive uh, like comments. And like, like they were like coming back with like snarky remarks, and like they've never done this before. And I was just like. Wait a minute. Are Wait, let, let, let me guess. Did they did they bring up the fact that you were Asian? Yeah, sort of, sort of in their snarky comments. Yeah, yeah. Because because with those people, I'd imagine that like as as long as you were saying the offensive stuff that they liked that you were saying, you were totally cool. You were like this totally yeah. cool, like yeah. you know this white guy, like totally on their side. But the moment that you betray them, they're like, oh, you're just some Asian dude. Fuck yeah. you. Like, you're you're jealous because we got bigger dicks than you and stuff like that. <laughs> And you know, I mean, that, that's that's that, that's true. That's true. You know, but I'll make yeah, fun. I'll make but, fun but, of the Asians for having small dicks. But 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 that's like that's like the most obvious go to. You know, like the <laughs> so, so, some so, nobody nobody brings that up unless they're seriously hurt. Exactly. You yeah, know, it's like you got like, like an egg roll penis, ching chong, oh, haha. Oh, oh yeah, well, b- b- dicks, <laughs> yeah, dicks, yeah. dicks. Sure showed him. 
<laughs> I sure showed him dicks. Yes. And like then, the- yeah, I got a lot of that. And I, I actually straight up got people who were just like, not cool, man. Hmm. Like, that's not cool. And then in a, in, a, in a more recent video, everyone's always making Holocaust jokes. Right. And, you know, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with, I mean, well, there is, but like, you know, a Holocaust <laughs> joke here and there, like, you're not like really like, well, I mean, if other factors are involved, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm up for like a good, good Holocaust joke. If it's in uh, not good taste, but not as, not like just deliberately like, haha, like Nazis, you know, if I, it's hard to explain, but like, you know, like people are always like making Holocaust jokes at me. And then I made one Pearl Harbor joke, Hmm. right? And everyone lost their shit because I'm Japanese, I guess. And Uh they were like, yeah, well, we fucking bombed you twice, you know? Oh, my God. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, facts, you know? And I'm yeah. like, I'm, I don't, I don't get offended by like any, anything really. Well, like, well people, that's the thing. A lot of people who, and and not that they're dishing it out. The thing is, you know, they sort of watch your videos and they kind of feel like they're vicariously dishing it out through you, you know. And 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 the people, a lot of people who love to dish that shit out cannot take it, you know. I mean, yeah. there there are a lot of people who watch my reviews and they hate my they hate my opinions and they're like, oh yeah, well your videos suck and this and that and it's like, okay, that's. That's fine. You could have that opinion. And, you know, but to a lot of people, you know, who, who are very hateful and are very angry. I mean, usually that, that, that legitimate racism and that legitimate anger sort of comes from in insecurity, you know, yeah, sure. like a lot of these people who are legitimately racist might not really have that much going on for themselves in terms of maybe their personality or their, you know, physical, uh, appearance or their whatever, or maybe their job prospects. And, and as a result, they need to find this thing to mm-hmm. sort of house themselves in and find pride in. And, and sometimes that's, that's their race, you know? And, and, and I feel like that's where, that's where a lot of racism comes from. I mean, I think, uh, I, I, I think, uh, you know, if, if, if some of these true blue racist people, you know, just like had something good going for them, they probably would focus on other things rather than whether, you know, I'm white and this guy's black and so on and so forth. Yeah, no, exactly. So, so still though, I mean, do, 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 do you sort of foresee difficulty in the future kind of continuing to push buttons or do you feel like there's going to be a moment where everybody's just kind of like, meh, you know, it doesn't really get to me anymore because I mean, I don't know. It, it just kind of seems like people are forever going to be sensitive over something. Oh yeah. You can, it's just you can always, it always push changes. Buttons. Oh, okay. You could always push buttons. Well, you you're, always... you're not, you're not going anywhere anytime soon then. Yeah. No, I mean like, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of like for a while I've been done with the whole, like, like offensive thing. I mean, filthy Frank is f- offensive. The show is offensive. But recently, I've been into more, like you know, like like the one of my favorite videos. It, the best. It was really fun to work on. Was uh, the the crawfish racing, mm-hmm. you know? And there, there, there was no there was no racism, no nothing like really bad. It was just. I mean, I guess there was some some sort of animal cruelty <laughs> involved. But you know, like that was a very fun video. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Like, you know, I I, I would like to move on to more things like that the mac versus pc wasn't like racist or like that I, I, I guess it's like um it, it's it's not so much uh that something is offensive kind of in a really urgent way um you know to some people sort of you know talking about pcs or talking about <laughs> max in the way that you did would be offensive to a lot of people like there are probably a lot of people that were like no as soon as you see that fucking macbook over the fence yeah, into, yeah, yeah. In, into the river <laughs> i mean People thought yeah, that shit was real. Oh yeah, absolutely. They were very upset. <laughs> well, well, where did the where did the MacBook actually go? In the water. <laughs> okay. No, I, I um usually you know uh, a lot. I have a lot of uh, friends and peers who who know about the, the stuff I do like mm-hmm. online. I'm and so usually like I don't know like when when the semester comes to an end, I usually get like 
just a bunch of junk like in front of my door mm-hmm. like be- because people are getting rid of things and like oh dude do you want to use this like and as I'm, a prop as a prop yeah so people are always bringing me props and like there there's a lot of good stuff that people get me but i can't i can't use them a lot of the time because like i have to move or like it, get, it just gets lost but yeah like you know like this uh this kid brought them up a MacBook and he was like, yeah, like this MacBook's like fucked beyond repair. Like I took it to the Apple store and everything like that. You know, he was like, I took the, the battery out or like, you know, cause it got like lithium ion or some shit. Hmm. Can't throw that in the river. But anyway, so oh my God, that's amazing that you, that you, that you, <laughs> I think that's something that never, that nobody would have ever imagined that you would do. Yeah. I care about that, the environment that now. you would care about the environment enough <laughs> to pull the lithium battery outside of the, uh, the MacBook. That's, that's really lovely of you. Yeah. Or, I mean, he said he took, took it out. I don't even know if that's true. I like, I don't know how to check. So I just, <laughs> I just, I threw it in the river and people were not, not that happy about it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it just, it just seems like, uh, you have made a career and a living off of pissing people off. I guess I'll put it that way Mm -hmm. in, in what, you know, in some ways that are kind of severely offensive and in a lot of other ways that are more innocuous and that people just get, you know, really hyped up over the dumbest or the weirdest shit, you know, the, the, the most insignificant shit anyway. Um, and I think, uh, I th- I think though sometimes even though you may sort of break balls over this stuff and and you are playing a character there are times when it kind of seems like a real opinion does kind of shine through in some kind of way oh, like that, um, that definitely happens like like let's take the uh, the the Weeaboo episode for example <laughs> where you know you put the uh, you put the statement out there that like you know being a Weeaboo you're glorifying one of the most xenophobic cultures out there right now. And it would be like a Japanese guy dressing as a cowboy running around with a lasso and going, yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, there, there was another part (laughs) and this is a joke that you've gotten sort of at the heart of before, but kind of in the, uh, uh, the MacBook, uh, the Mac versus, uh, windows, uh, episode, um, when you had the whole kind of like, monologue of the computer at the end talking about life and death <laughs> and <laughs> i mean it kind of seems like there was way too much forethought <laughs> put into that yeah. for there not to be like a, a, gr- a like a grain of truth in there yeah. for you every, every, like are, are, are you are you somebody that like you know contemplates existentialism quite quite often <laughs> yeah no i um every time I, sure. I do that macbook shit uh, I always get a few calls from friends like, dude, like, are you okay? Like, are you like having some problems? And I'm like, no, like, I just, I, I, I don't like have, I don't think about existentialism that much. I try not to, you know, it's not a big deal, but like, I'm, I'm good at like writing that kind of shit. Like in, in the, <laughs> I, 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 I enjoy that kind of like, you know, robots, you know, am I alive kind of thing. Like I really enjoyed, uh, like, you know, you seen Chappie. Mm-hmm. That's, yes, yes. That, that shit was dope. Yeah, but like you know, like that that kind of stuff I really do enjoy. So like, I I I wanted to like think the way you know a, a, a kind of self aware MacBook might think. You know, so just like I don't want to feel like this anymore. Throw me at the bottom of the river, and then you know, what, just what, very what comes to what comes to mind for me first is the uh, is the Robin Williams classic Bicentennial Man. Hmm. <laughs> have you you haven't seen that have i you? have not seen it no it's it's far from a classic he starts off as a robot and he turns to a human like as the movie progresses oh really is, yeah, it, is, it, is it worth checking out it's it's an interesting piece of sci-fi it's an interesting concept um you know it's it's a little corny but i mean not a lot of movies have tried to do what that movie does again it's an interesting concept gotcha <clears throat> um you know, it might it might inspire more more similar monologues, but <laughs> but yeah, you know, obviously there's still like you know, um, a little sixteen year old goth inside of you, sort of huddled over his notebook, kind of just writing his yeah, his dark. There there must be. It's coming from somewhere. It is coming from somewhere, and th- and that's and that's what I'm saying. You know, this has to be coming from somewhere because again, you, even even your friends are messaging you and like, dude, are you all right? 
Yeah. No, I, 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 genu- I genuinely don't feel like that, though. I'm a very happy mm-hmm. person. Mm-hmm. I just, I just like, I just think it's, it's funny, that sort of, like, existential crisis type shit. Well, not even just with that, but just kind of a, r- really just in general, and this is true of not only your haters, but your fans, too. Like, they see you do these videos, and they see you make these jokes, and they see you, you know, um, <laughs> write things like that monologue at the end of that PC versus uh, Mac video. And, and, and again, even the people who love you, uh, y- you play into this character, and you play into this type of very dark humor so well that it's, it's hard for anybody to um, see you as not disturbed in some kind of way. Yeah, I like to bring all emotions out. Like, you know, I I don't want to be just funny. I kind of want to fuck things up at the end, you know, and kind of leave the person, you know, like the video started out so funny and and Mm. suddenly, suddenly they're thinking about like what happens after death. (laughs) You know, that's that's what I like. I like that roller coaster, you know, like Mm. I I can't, I don't like, I like my favorite shows my favorite tv shows are always like ones that are like funny but like they like always like get dark every now and then Hmm. you know it's it's a good mix that's you know some dark humor stuff well i mean you know what you were saying earlier about how everybody on the filthy frank show gets shit um while they might not come out and say it i mean in in a way that's also kind of been a tenant of some of the most modern popular tv shows out there i mean definitely family guy and south park Mm mm-hmm you know, who I mean, nobody is really safe from from the critiques that they make, you know, um, from from racial jokes to, you know, even stuff like uh, uh, s- still to this day, I will not sit through that pet South Park episode where they turn Stan into a vagina for not eating meat because <laughs> it's like it's so aggravating, you know, and, and what was and, and what I think was the most aggravating thing about the video is that you didn't see that conclusion coming, mm. which is, which is probably, you know, uh, uh, you know, obviously their intention, you know, the, the whole episode seemed like to genuinely, uh, put a lot of emotional investment into Stan sort of focusing on the livelihood of these cows yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and slowly he's becoming sick, but they're not really explaining why. And it just looks like a really weird thing. And, and, and they don't really link it together so that you think that it actually has anything to do with him being sick. The fact that he's trying to help with these cows. And then by the end of the episode, you realize that all of those lesions on him were just vaginas growing on him. <laughs> and he was going to turn into a vi- giant vagina giant unless he... <laughs> Unless he ate a steak, yeah, and it was just like, oh, <laughs> fuck you, like fuck you. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I can see your frustration with that, definitely. Oh yeah, obviously. But the thing is, like, I, I don't think you can, and and this is this is something you've already realized, and something that you know you already see as like a disconnect with, you know, the people who uh, get offended when you make a Pearl Harbor joke. You know, you can't really sort of be somebody who is a fan of that type of humor unless you're going to be ready to. Yeah, you got to be ready. You got to be ready to accept it when it's aimed at you. Yeah. You know, um, exactly. and I mean, you know, I, I accept it. I, you know, I might choose to not sit through it if I, if I don't have to, but like, you know, I accept it. Um, and, uh, uh, it, it doesn't mean that, you know, it shouldn't be said or that, uh, uh or, or that somebody can't have that opinion, but like, I don't know. It's, it, th- that's just really been my humor style for a long time, you know, just kind of like this really, uh, uh, I kind of mean spirited, but not truly. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and it's something that, you know, sometimes I'm hesitant to put into my own videos because I don't really think reviews should be about that, but also simultaneously, like it just brings way too much drama that I don't need. You know, you already get a a lot of shit for like, you know, how can you give give it a seven, you know? Yeah, (laughs) absolutely. You don't want, how can you give him a seven and you're fucking racist? Like, yeah, pretty much. Or even just like, you know, to the, the there are some people who, you know, the, the who have done ridiculous things online, it either said ridiculous things online or, you know, have like uh put out weird or semi nude photos of themselves to help promote their music career or yeah, yeah, slept yeah. with a certain person or got plastic surgery. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that I would love to be making fun right, of, of course, in, yeah. in like all the reviews, but it just kind of seems like out of place because if uh, with some artists, I would never get to the music, 
you know, because there's just so much, True, <laughs> there's yeah. so much to make fun of. Like, <laughs> yeah. pretty, you know, uh, uh, I, I could pretty much every single one of my Drake reviews could just be nothing but Drake memes, you know, exactly. but, yeah, but yeah. the thing is, you know, it, it, it would be counter, it would be, it would, it would be counterintuitive to sort of, you know, label something as a review and just do nothing but Drake memes for like an hour. Exactly. Yeah. No, I, I, I like how you're so like well-rounded about that. Like, well, I mean, now, now that we're on the topic, though, I mean, another thing, you know, sort of pissing people off and sort of, you know, r- really riling people up seems to be kind of an essential part of your your comedy style, whether it is, you know, you're, you're offending people over stuff that's important or kind of, you know, innocuous or you're kind of grossing people out a little bit with some of the newer videos that you do. But also, uh, I don't know, k- kind of a, a pivotal part of your comedy style seems to be memes. Uh, which... Yeah, which I mean, not not that I don't enjoy them. I most definitely do. But whenever I mention them, uh, my my audience is very quick to remind me that memes are in fact destroying our future. I I, and, I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I I think I think memes are kind of like right now the 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 one thing that if you're honest with yourself, you can't deny that it's funny, but you feel bad that it's funny. Yeah. You, f- you feel you feel worse for thinking that some dumb meme is funny than you do for thinking some racist joke is funny. Yeah. At least the way that some people would would try to frame it. There's actually a dude who writes me emails in all caps, and any time, any time, I make the faintest reference to any kind of meme, I get a fucking email from this dickhead. Uh. Like. Obvi- you know, and, and it's funny because his emails are so hateful, and yet I wouldn't get them if it weren't for the fact that he was watching every single one of my videos like a hawk. Yeah, he's just a huge fan. And yeah, <laughs> at, at heart, at heart, it's true. He is probably just a huge fan. Um, but then he writes me these angry. Wait, like, he, he, all- doesn't, he doesn't like you talking about memes? Oh, no. No, he doesn't. Every single time I, I even make the faintest reference to a meme, I get a long, angry email where he's like, wow. Fantano. I thought we talked about this fucking <laughs> shit. No more memes in the fucking videos, you asshole. You're going to destroy your fucking YouTube channel if you keep referencing these goddamn fucking memes. And, I mean, I haven't said this, but, you know, I just want to be like, did, did a meme kill your family? Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, where did, where did the meme touch you? Yeah, why, yeah, why, why is he so upset? <laughs> But but that's the thing, you know, some people out there for whatever reason really fucking hate memes. Yeah. And and I and I understand why. It just kind of seems like it seems like the lowest common denominator of comedy it, now. It, but it is. I I 100% agree. And that, that's why I I try to stay away from uh memes recently. I mean, you, like you made a fucking song called Meme Machine. Yeah, that was like I I, I made that song a while back and I just I like I felt like I had to use it or it'd be a waste. But yeah, I think that kind of put me like it, it, it dug a deeper hole for me. But I did rely on memes uh, back in disaster music. But now, you know, I'm trying to take a uh, professional, slightly above memes, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, but though, I, I am a fucking meme. That's the problem. But like, the thing is, though, and hey, listen, uh, I'm a meme too, from what I understand. You, you, yeah, we're both memes, man. I'm, I'm not. I don't even use that. I don't even use meme humor that often. Yeah, and people you just tell got me like you, you just got turned into a meme. Yeah, so I mean, uh, sometimes you know. I'm scrolling Facebook and I just I, I see people like memeing the shit out of you. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> it's Emily. And then you know, if if I'm on like. I, I yeah like we're 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 memed a lot definitely. I mean the the <laughs> meme brothers. But, but but before I move on to my next point, I do want to say, in my opinion, though, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that is people showing that they enjoy a thing. You know, I think if people aren't doing memes of you, they probably don't enjoy you. No, I, I agree. I agree. I, you know, I, I, mean, I don't know if it's it's be- I don't know if it's beneficial or not, but that what you're saying is definitely true. I mean, it's, I, I think any sort of conversation that what you do strikes up is good, you know, um, unless maybe it's kind of like a defamation of character kind of thing. And maybe, you know, negative rumors are being spread of you that aren't true. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, any kind of honest conversation that people have of you, 
uh, I think is a good thing. And, and, and I, I mean, you know, you need to think of the fact that while maybe a meme might be annoying, you know, not all memes are, but maybe a particular meme of you or I might be annoying to us. <laughs> um, but still, you have to think of the fact that somebody spent a lot of time trying to make that thing or thought very intensely about it and, and, and thought that they needed to create something based off of what you created. Um, and, and, and I think that shows a certain level of investment. You know, oh, I mean, people, yeah. people, people don't really buy, you know, albums anymore. They just make memes about the artists that they like. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, again, I think that's a show of, of, of fandom, uh, in a way and, and, and sort of, uh, on, on the net, you know, a, a positive and, and very beneficial. But I think that, you know, you're not so much like with your old channel overtly referencing other memes. It just kind of seems like you are intentionally and thoughtfully making your own memes or you're taking stuff out of your videos that your audience deems meme worthy yeah, yeah, yeah. and then kind of handing it back to them sort of like, you know, with your recent video, uh, uh, <laughs> the fucking scene where, <laughs> where you go riding out on the fucking skateboard in the yeah. blue shorts with Evanescence playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, <laughs> which I laughed at so hard. I had to replay it a I few times. Up inside. It was perfect, dude. It I had, I had, to, I had to use that. But yeah. the thing is, even before you sent that out, like you said, you knew that that was going to be. Oh, definitely, because I, 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 I made it like six or seven seconds. That scene, you know, it's perfect for Vine. Uh, it's, uh, you know, people like it's definitely something people would make gifts out of. You know, I'm holding a laptop, so like I knew a lot of people <laughs> would make you know Netflix and chill memes out of it. <laughs> you know, or like. Just like one of those, like my parents aren't over, you know, the, you know those, those those memes. I don't. Yeah, I didn't see that one. No, uh, I saw the Tony Hawk Pro Skater Photoshop though. Oh yeah, no, that one. Yes, yeah, and you know it's stuff that people can Photoshop around. Like I even had a series on the on the show, you know, Pink Guy Photoshop, where people would just submit these photoshops, and they still do. Some of them are very very creative. I I haven't done anything with them yet, but I have a special folder full of full of. Uh, Memes of myself. <laughs> is it, does it service uh, or, or does it serve the same purpose as your porn folder on your computer or? A little bit, a little you know, bit. here and there. I, I, okay. I, I dabble. Okay. I'm just curious. I'm curious. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know. It just kind of seems like meme comedy. I mean, I personally it, it, it enjoy it, you know, and, 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 I feel like I'm at this point in my life and, and this is partially because of my YouTube channel where, I mean, I, I personally don't really see any reason to feel ashamed in, in anything that I really like. And there are a lot of memes that I really like. And there are some memes that I think aren't funny at all. And that to me doesn't mean that memes in general aren't funny or aren't good. Um, yeah. But, but simultaneously though, it kind of seems like a lot of people and maybe even you to an extent, while you do enjoy them and you do dabble in them, it kind of seems like this thing that everybody widely is like, you know, they like it, they enjoy it, they think it's funny, but in public, they won't admit it. Exactly, yeah. Because I, the thing is, if, if, if memes weren't, if, if everybody hated memes as much as they act like they do, they wouldn't be as popular as they are. Exactly, You know, yeah. it just seems like behind closed doors, everyone enjoys them, but out in the open, it's like, fuck memes, memes are dumb, only, the whole, like, idiots are into memes, yeah. and, you know, 13-year-old try-hard beta whatevers. Yeah, I'd be, I, I'd be lying if I told you I, I hated memes, like... I think the, the, hey. the funny part is definitely, like, I know it's a shit meme, but I'm still laughing, so I laugh at myself for laughing at that meme. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, my, oh, like, I follow, on Twitter, I follow um, just, like, the most, like, I don't, like, at the risk of sounding, like, ignorant, like, ghetto memes, you know? Like, mm -hmm. the ones that are just, like, go they've gone through filter after filter after filter to the point where they're just butchered, and people have put their own watermarks yeah. on it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you got, like, you can't even read it anymore. You just got at, at young paper boys. Like, like yeah. just, just, like, paste it all over the front. And just, like, those, like, make me laugh, and I don't know. The problem is I don't know if I'm laughing at it ironically or unironically there's no line sometimes actually like a few of my favorite memes from this past like maybe two or three years have come off of what you could probably call black twitter 
or black, black Instagram yeah, black as, Twitter, as, yeah. as they would refer to themselves. Yeah. Um, and that's- I love, I, I love the, uh, uh, I loved the, this could be us, but you play in meme. Yeah. That was one of my yeah. favorites. Um, another one of my favorites was like, uh, uh, you know, all these flavors and you choose to be salty. Like uh, those, those course, are one of my favorite course. memes too. Yeah. You know, like all this blank and you choose to be blank. You yeah. know, that was one of my favorite yeah. memes as well. And, um, right now my favorite meme off of black Twitter is, uh, I don't know the name of it, but the really young, confused looking black guy uh, with, with the, the question, question marks, marks around. His head. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love that fucking picture. That is good. Yeah. And like, it's, it's actually like some of them are actually very clever, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I guess the problem is, uh, if, if you're if you're on a, like a web show or, or like even anybody you, you don't want to use like you don't want to use memes like i'm i'm making my own memes so like that's <laughs> that's like a, a whole different story but like it's not i've i've talked about this with other people on youtube before you don't want to use memes because even now as we're talking about these memes that are somewhat relevant in about two months, when they're not relevant anymore, someone is going to listen to this podcast and be like, look, these fucking normies talking about these old ass stale memes. That's what they call it. <laughs> they're fucking stale, man. Like fucking normies. Go watch some Key and Peel. God, get out of here, you know? Yeah, so. pretty much. Yeah, that's that's kind of the life and death cycle of every meme. I mean, the, the moment it starts turning up on television or oh, yeah, that's starts turning up in a place where just like, you know, people who usually are in weird places on the Internet can kind of see them or have access to them. Um, you know, the meme sort of starts to die a little. But the thing is, I think that 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 life and death cycle eventually has to change in some kind of way, because, you know, the further we go along the more ingrained into the internet everyone is, you know, and, and, and I think we're going to get to a point where, you know, these memes, once they get popular, they're no longer going to be obscure to like older people. Older people are already going to know about the internet. Um, unless, uh, you know, sort of younger people kind of find an alternative That's place true. to be yeah, and right. go online, um, uh, to sort of, you know, hide away from all that stuff and yeah. kind of keep keep their own personal memes within their subgroup and kind of keep them from erupting outside of their their social group. Because, you know, b- before the Internet, I mean, there were definitely memes. But the thing is, yeah. the memes were kind of a trickle down thing. You know, it was like the memes that we enjoyed or that we repeated or we recited came from movies where we thought there were really quotable moments or they came from television shows where something happened that everybody saw and everybody remembers and everybody's just repeating those jokes over and over and over and over yeah like like, uh you know like back in the day i'm sure like there were there were there would be people who who just recited uh monty python jokes over and over again oh absolutely there still are people like that and it's like well those are some some old old uh stale memes but you Mm -hmm. know yeah. Well, I remember when I was younger, you know, kids used to just like reference or recite Simpsons lines or something. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, you know, because everybody, the Simpsons would, you know, put up their new episode like on the weekend and everybody at school would have seen it. So, you know, if there was a really funny line from it, people would be saying that line or, you know, people would be repeating like, you know, Bart Simpson catchphrases or whatever. You know, that's the thing. Yeah. Before there was memes, there were catchphrases and people would repeat those catchphrases, you know, wherever. But now, you know we're not getting memes handed us to us handed to us by the media we're sort of making our own and then eventually the media catches on when stuff like uh rick rolling gets really popular yeah and then all of a sudden you know you have your 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 mom with her hotmail email address like you know hitting you up and being like hey i I found a funny video and then you're like okay what the fuck is this and then it's like rick astley and you're like what the fuck is this mom it's like i rick rolled you i heard about it on abc news God, God, gotcha. God, Mom! What is this? Two thousand eight? God. <laughs> but yeah, meme. Yeah, memes will always. Uh, I don't know. It's it's interesting to see where memes will go. You know, it, it seems there's a there's a whole meme machine going on right now. Memes are being generated so fast, and they die quickly too. You know, some of them have like some sort of like shelf life. You know, some some are like popular for like two years like underground and then they finally surface and they're not cool anymore oh yeah absolutely i mean it's it's kind of actually like you know watching music sort of fall in and out of popularity and relevancy um i i I just the pace of it is really interesting the the only thing i wish would change though is that i wish people would you know be more 
open about their enjoyment of it instead of like pretending like I'm too good for memes. Like, you know, because meanwhile, the, I, I think that, I don't know. I, I think that in the end is probably going to do us more harm than good, you know, than just admitting that we like something. Yeah. I mean, th- you know, there, there's never been a point in history where sort of, you know, pretending we didn't like something that we actually do like benefited us in any kind of way. Um, you know, meanwhile, I, I occasionally like to go on to, uh, these, uh, these YouTube videos, these cringe compilations. Oh uh, yeah. And then they have videos of these kids that are like 12 and 13. And it's like, I totally think memes are awesome. Let me tell you all the memes I like, you know, and then they just like list off all their favorite memes. Yeah. And you know, then it's like nothing but comments really like, can't believe all that, that loser. He's such a loser. He's never going to have a girlfriend. He likes all those memes. I can't believe it. Yeah. And like, you know, meanwhile, the only reason you know every meme that he referenced is because you enjoy them too, or at least did at one point. Yeah, exactly. And also like, you know, if, like, if it's a kid talking about like fucking what like troll face, yeah, like yeah, obviously yeah. Exactly, they're yes. they're gonna get shit for it, you know. Like <laughs> I, I like I I talk to like other people, uh, other YouTubers, um, you know, who have uh, old memes in their thumbnails from their old videos, you know, like <laughs> like they got they got like troll face in their thumbnail, like and from like from 2013 and it's just like why don't you change them he's like dude i I can't be fucked but like you know that that also like you're you're gonna look at that and be like dude like if you if you don't uh think about like when the video came out like you're gonna look at the you're gonna look at the thumbnail and be like dude like what you fucking stale memes you fucking normie you know yeah, I mean, with, with 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 the kind of humor that's so ridiculous, it seems like there's so many stupid taboos. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, like you you would figure the 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 type of humor that memes embody is just so dumb. Yeah, but yeah, it seems like you know people are so quick to be like, oh, that meme's old, or you know, you just like memes in general. Yeah, um, or you know, oh, that's a shit meme. Like it seems like you know for something that that's so lowbrow, there's a lot of yeah, there's, there's a there's, there's a lot of like hierarchy, like kind of like, like there's a lot of policing going on, yeah. and it's like you know at the end of the day, it's like dude, it's just memes. Yeah, like, and like you know, I I often like I I my twit my the filthy Frank t- promotional Twitter, you know, just you know keep keep it going. I I do post a lot of. Uh, a lot of just you know funny pictures, memes here and there, and and you know I always get the yeah you know, your your Instagram is just a shithole. Oh, that's that thing's disgusting. You know, I actually, <laughs> I I just kind of like I actually gave the Instagram password to hey, like five of my friends, and I'm like, it. just have at it. You know, just give them give them all the all the addresses. I actually gave uh, two of my friends my Twitter. Hmm. Uh, info and that was a big mistake because yeah. like they started posting like a lot of porn and stuff <laughs> actually porn is quite legal on twitter though it is it is it is yeah i uh the other day i actually i was dared by another another uh youtuber to post a picture of homer simpson getting eaten out by <laughs> flanders <laughs> and like something about something like diddly hole you know <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I thought I thought that was funny. You know, I, I I'm always up for a good, good uh, Twitter game. That's what we that's what we do. It's it's fun. Like we we give each other like really cringy, like the the porn was different, but we'll give each other like outdated cringy memes and dare each other to post them. Like, and then we get a bunch of shit from like disgruntled uh, meme critics. <laughs> but like, oh my god. You know, like, I, I, I get shit that's like, you know, oh, this was posted on Reddit yesterday. Like, you're such a, like, it's like, no, like, so, someone just sent it to me. I thought it was, you know, kind of funny, so I posted oh, it. That's, that's, that's another version of meme policing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, like oh, oh, this is old, yeah, old. This was yeah. posted 14 hours ago. Yeah, this is old. a stale meme. I didn't take you as a person to be a, a, a stale memer. It's, it's, yeah, it's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. You can't like you can't take memes that seriously. Like, what are you what are you, what are you doing with your life? If you're upset about memes. I know. I'm just thinking of how fucking stupid that is. Yeah, I I, I, I told um I said somewhere that like you know you know uh, right now that the you know the John Cena meme is is uh, quite popular. Yeah. You know, and it's 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 finally like hit the mainstream like the. The, the big, you know, like, the big Facebook pages that, you know, have uh, what people would call uh, normies. Yeah. Right? 
they're posting John Cena memes now. And all of a sudden, it's not funny. And, you know, I, I kind of get that. It's like when TV, you know, posts, uh, not posts, but, like, shows something, and, and then so it's not cool anymore. When, when TV is just stealing internet humor, because that's really what's happening. Pretty much, yeah. yeah like, because the, the, the writers who are at the table are just completely lacking in ideas, and all of them are just bullshitting online anyway. You know, they're, instead of writing a good sketch, they're probably just like talking on Twitter with their friends. And then they're like, oh, fuck, I have a sketch due at six o'clock. What am I going to do? Uh, let, let's go look up some memes. Yeah. And, you know, it's obvious that like, uh, you know, like shows like Tosh.0, you know, they probably just browse Reddit when they're writing their scripts. And, you know, it, duh. And yeah, I mean, and I know the show has gotten shit. Like, didn't they steal jokes from Reddit? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, and they got a lot of shit for that. But, you know, yeah, you're right. TV does take the memes. But, yeah, like I remember saying, you know, oh, I like this this meme. It's kind of funny right now. And people would, like, attack me just like, dude, like, what is wrong with you? Like, dude, it's just, it's, it's just a, bit of a, bit of a bit of a meme. <laughs> it's a bit of a meme, bit and of I kind of feel like there's – I kind of feel like there should be way less animosity there when it comes to – someone who makes a living or does something on the internet taking something from the internet. You know what I mean? I, I think that should be sort of a little more accepted, you know, maybe with kind of a note that, oh, you know, I didn't create this or this is a meme or this came from wherever, mm -hmm. you know, versus when TV does it, where you're almost guaranteed to never, you know, sort of have, have, have like credit due and, you know, they're going to take credit for whatever they found or they're going to try to, you know, warp it into such a way where it works for TV um, you know, and, and while sometimes it's interesting to see those two worlds kind of collide, um, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's a little disingenuous because the person who is the author of the meme at the end of the day probably isn't making any money off of it. Meanwhile, Tosh.0 is generating tons of money for Comedy Central, at least when it was more popular. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, so, so moving on from memes, which I know is, is a hard topic to let go of. <laughs> we uh, talked about memes for like a good 30 minutes, I swear. There's a lot to talk about. And yeah. you and I are very meme passionate and very, and very meme related. Meme, I mean, meme again, compatible. Meme compatible. <laughs> it's, tr it's true. But, you know, to sort of uh, uh, end things off, uh, I wanted to ask you kind of where you see the future in the channel right now. I mean, it's, it's, it's bigger than it's ever been. Yeah. Um, you know, and, 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 and despite the sense of humor being so alternative, it seems to be turning so many heads, you know, um, and, uh, and, and it seems like, uh, the, the growth rate is just really, um, impressive. So, you know, with that in mind, where do you sort of see yourself taking some of the future videos and some of the future sketches and, and, and the humor of the, of the show? Uh, you know, I'd like to, it's, it's always good to, I'll keep that classic, you know, uh, classic, like, traces of, like, you know, uh, as they would call, like, old, your old stuff, you know, because people are obviously very sensitive to change. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I got to be careful now because, you know, I, I just hit a million subscribers, right? And Congrats. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, You're going to get one of those YouTube plaques. I I have I've actually never gotten one. YouTube just never. Yeah, sent but but the but the thing is, you have to uh, you have to like put in an order. Yeah, for yeah, it. That, that's what I found out the other day, and then I tried, and then it said my confirmation thing didn't work. So I was just like, oh. "Fuck it, I don't need it." So, what the fuck? No, dude, you gotta get it. You gotta like poop on it or something. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. You gotta get it and just like, <laughs> come on, YouTube, stop fucking up. <laughs> Like, get this man a fucking plaque so that he could do something disgusting with it because it's going to make a genius video. Um, sure, it'd be a bit of a meme. It, <laughs> it would. Like, if, if, you could, if you could drill a hole through the frame and then just between the glass and the plaque, just fill it with something, like something totally just, like, disgusting. Um, yeah, there's an idea. You know, Hold on one second. Yeah, no worries. There we go. Um, my dog is puking, so I would suggest oh. that you put dog puke in the uh, in the plaque. That'd be good. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll feed a dog some chocolate and just kind of have my, ha oh my ha God, have my no. hands cuffed, cuffed uh, in front of its mouth the whole time. N naturally procure dog puke, please. Don't don't how, don't, how, don't how, turn. How does one do that? Is, is I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Should I, should I make him gag? 
I don't know. I don't know. Just all the animal abuse that's 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 potentially happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is your dog yeah, it's, okay? It's, is your dog okay though? That sounds. I think sick. I think my dog is all right now. You just ate a bit of a ate a bit of a meme. Yeah, <laughs> memes make my dog sick. <laughs> And my dog was sitting in the room with me the whole time, so uh, there, there you go. It was really asking for it. It was asking for it, man. Oh, pe- people are gonna, people are gonna like listen to this and be like, they're gonna be like cringing. Like this will be on a cringe compilation. It's just talking, oh, hopefully talking about memes. Hopefully, like in a serious manner. But, uh, okay, so 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 you were saying, you know, you're you're very conscious of keeping sort of old uh, characteristics of your show. In, yeah. in rotation because people don't like change. And, and I think that definitely comes out like in your comment yeah. videos. And also it'd be disrespectful for me to, you know, just, you know, suddenly it's like, all right, yeah, time to move on to something that you guys don't like, even though they've been there from the start, you know, like, yeah, so, you yeah, know, yeah. I got to keep that old shit. And also like, as soon as I hit a million, like I, I just see everywhere, like, oh, he's going to start sucking now. Like, yeah, that, you know that's that's one thing about having your own shit online and creating your own stuff online can be really liberating in some respects but in other respects like the moment people know that you're popular because they're making you popular they seem to kind of start hating what they like in a really weird way exactly yeah so i'm prepared like for like whatever videos i put out now there's always going to be someone that's like man i miss when you used to uh, you know like I, the last video I put out was like one of those classic like rant videos, you know, because people were telling me like, "Hey, I miss when you you should ju- you just talk into the camera," you know, like mm-hmm. yeah, and you know, I was I was done with my uh, animal phase, so you know, I, I I'll, <laughs> I'll bring back the old stuff always, but yeah, I, in terms of where where the show is going, uh, I definitely like to keep exploring uh, different things. Like I've tried to just. These these past vid- couple videos, I've tried to do a lot of different things, and you know, not by not like drastically changing everything too much. Like it'd be nice to branch out and explore. I mean, it doesn't like it, any any other different projects I want to do. I can just do separately, and I could just keep on doing uh, the Filthy Frank show as you know, as some primary form of uh, uh, relevance, I guess whatever I, I know that you're in the midst of um you know finishing up your college education right now yeah when you're done with that do you sort of foresee yourself moving into your field of study as far as a career or you know the filthy frank thing just makes too much sense and has too much momentum to sort of just abandon it uh yeah no i, I can't abandon it now like the uh definitely yeah like I don't know about Filthy Frank, but like this sort of like online entertainment is something that I will definitely keep doing one way or another. And I, yeah. I know like before I used to be like, oh yeah, hell yeah, I want to be on TV, you know, like I want to, or not be on TV, I, you know, I want to produce some stuff for TV, I want to like do, do a cartoon, like, you know, some like Adult Swim type shit, you know, like I thought that would have been cool, but now like we see that like the internet is is getting bigger than TV, and you, you notice because like the like shit TV actors are starting to come on the best YouTubers channels, and the best YouTubers are starting to go on shit TV channels. So there's that like overlay now. Yeah, because the the YouTubers are looking for TV exposure, and the 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 shit TV actors are looking for any kind of exposure. Yeah, and but like you know. Th- Eventually, like in a couple of years, I definitely think like these uh, online content creators are going to have just hopefully like j- just as much credibility as uh, a, a TV. Oh, yeah. I mean, I yeah. think, um, you know, I, I think I think we already have a lot of us already have a larger following than a lot of TV shows. Yeah, it's definitely. just that, you know, the 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 way that the. Uh, traditional media works is to just glorify TV and ignore what happens on the internet. Exactly. Um, you know, th- there are television shows on Adult Swim that I fucking love that I know I have more viewers than. Exactly. You know, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. which is weird to think about, but you know, that's just the way the internet works now. Exactly. And so, you know, that that, that also makes me happy because, like, I don't like, you know, I can I can stay in my uh, field and. Uh, like if I stay on the internet, then that's not a huge problem for me because the internet is what's 
like the thing now anyway you know mm -hmm. yeah and then who knows so sooner or later you might have uh just everything's on the internet you know you might have tv people like like good tv people just coming on here like you know like you, you see you see it with the whole like netflix thing now yeah the netflix originals and everything i mean i think that that is us kind of trending in that direction i mean having a great original show like orange is the new black on mm -hmm. netflix isn't isn't quite making a full step to the internet but you're, you're talking about a platform that is is taking television turning it into this on demand medium and then they're tur and then they're taking the profits that they make from that from just airing other people's tv shows and then creating their own tv shows yeah. i mean uh, the 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 television studios they kind of fucked up because <laughs> like they, they just created competition for themselves by allowing Netflix to buy and stream their shows. Exactly. Yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised in like 10 years, like everyone's just completely like wired in. in that, oh, yeah, absolutely. In you know, I mean, I think, um, you know, honestly, I think I, I don't want this to be the case, but I think that, you know, probably The Walking Dead and uh, um, Breaking Bad were probably the last two huge drama series yeah. that we're yeah. going to see that were born and bred completely on television. And and not even to say that those that those shows are totally television because the fandoms for those shows online are huge exactly, and, and yeah. were key to the fact that those shows got as big as they were, yeah. um, got, got as big as they did. Um, but, uh, uh, but, but I think that those are probably the last examples we're going to see as far as, uh, you know, great drama, dramedies and uh, drama series that, that we sort of, uh, you know, as a nation are watching and sort of recognize those are like great moments in television, you know, all, all examples of that from here on out are probably going to be, uh, Netflix shows or Hulu shows. Exactly. Yeah. So that that uh, overlap is is now happening. So to answer your question, it's uh, I'll just keep keep on going with uh, online entertainment if I have to. Do, could could you see yourself in the future, sort of maybe you know maybe not working on television, but maybe working on kind of like a a, a concise sort of cleanly put together kind of series featuring this type of humor or featuring this character that you work for if a, if, if a Netflix situation were to sort of present itself? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, either yeah. not with Netflix or some other kind of outlet. Yeah, I'm actually, um, I've been working on like pilots and like just getting, getting things in order, you know, trying to get it off the ground because I definitely like, I want to be, I want to, I want to do things that I can kind of, you know, that can be known for, you know, not like being, being offensive. Yeah. 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 Sort of more traditional comedy. Yeah. Like if, just... you know, if, 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 uh, if like I meet, a, I meet a girl's parents, you know, and mm -hmm. they're like, so what do you do? It's like, then I, I can actually say something that like they, they would respect. Sure. Yeah. And also I, I like, uh, I like that, that just kind of normal comedy, you know, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's it, you uh, your comedy while it does seem to center around these certain themes on your YouTube channel right now. I mean, you know, taste wise, I mean, very, very few people who are successful in comedy just only like one type of comedy. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, for no doubt you're as far as, uh, you know, comedy goes, you're probably well rounded. Um, yeah, but uh yeah, I mean, it, it it would certainly be interesting to kind of see, you know, Filthy Frank occur in that in that context or some other kind of show that you're working on. And, and, and given how much traffic you have and how many subscribers you have, I mean, I, I know that I personally have gotten, you know, here and there, like some very interesting offers to do very interesting things. But maybe the yeah, uh, the, the opportunity didn't necessarily present itself like, you know, to either do podcasts or radio shows or like do a fucking book or something. I mean, you know, you must have gotten an offer to do TV or something or, you know, do some kind of show somewhere. Yeah, I've got, I've gotten a lot of offers here and there, but then you you think and you do the math and, you know, think about like the time that's going to be put into it and just every every factor and then it always comes down to what I'm doing now is probably just the way I should keep going. Yeah, no, it it definitely makes more sense because I mean a lot of the offers at least in my experience 
the, the they end up they end up probably math wise not earning you as much as just continuing to do what you're already doing online. Exactly. But they kind of they kind of try to market the idea of the glamour of having a TV show, exactly, or having yeah. a radio show or having yeah. a book. Wouldn't that be really cool for yeah. you? But that's when, only going to last another couple of years, you know. Like, yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it, it's going to get to a point where, like, how would you like your own web show is going to be just as appealing as TV show, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, hopefully, you know, we both move on to. Uh, some some good memes <laughs> hope, I, I i i i will leave it there i will say i hope that there's a lot of memes in in both your future and my future but like not like actual memes like memes of good luck yes Meme, okay memes so, of happiness okay so that was like that's that was a reference to a conversation we had even before we turned on the the microphones that's and everything. right are you just, are you just interchangeably using the word meme as just any other random word now yep just uh just just think of uh something positive. Yeah. Have yourself a good meme, man. You too, man. And thanks for uh thanks for coming on the meme. Yeah, no, it was a great meme. You know, uh it'll definitely end up on a cringe compilation, I'm sure. It definitely will, and hopefully uh, you know, the uh uh hopefully all the memes who are listening to this meme, um enjoy the meme and uh and have themselves a good meme. Yeah, and I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> or I guess meme myself. If... Meme yourself. Thank you. This is this is a children's show. <laughs> no overt references to memeing yourself, please. I'm sorry. Wait, is it a children's? Do children listen to it? Oh, wait, no, we've been swearing for like the past hour. I know. Yeah. Jesus you got you, you got me for a second, man. You know, I, was like, I was like, wait a minute, like, hold on, there. Is this PG? <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of two other words that that could stand for PG and are really offensive and bad, but but I'm just completely at a loss. Pussy galore. Penis grinder. <laughs> Penis grinder. But that doesn't even make any sense. So P- push, just, pussy just... pussy something. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Please, grandma. Please, grandma. <laughs> <laughs> All right, again, we'll we'll leave it there. Please, Grandma. Bye, everyone. Please, Grandma. 